The germanium detector array or GERDA experiment is searching for neutrinoless double beta decay zero NBB in GE76 at the underground laboratory Nazionale del Gran Sasso Ings. Neutrinoless beta decay is expected to be a very rare process if it occurs. The collaboration predicts less than one event each year per kilogram of material, appearing as a narrow spike around the zero NBBQ value QBB equals 2039 keV in the observed energy spectrum. This means background shielding is required to detect any rare decays. The Ings facility has 1,400 meters of rock overburden, equivalent to 3,000 meters of water shielding, reducing cosmic radiation background. After completing the GERDA experiment, the GERDA collaboration will merge with MAJORANA collaboration to build a new experiment legend. Design The experiment uses high-purity enriched GE crystal diodes as a beta decay source and particle detector. The detectors from the HDM and IGEX experiments were reprocessed and used in Phase 1. The detector array is suspended in a liquid argon cryostat lined with copper and surrounded by an ultra-pure water tank. PMTs in the water tank and plastic scintillators above detect and exclude background muons. Pulse shape discrimination PSD, is applied as a cut to discriminate between particle types. Phase 2 will increase the active mass to 38 kg using 30 new broad energy germanium detectors. A magnitude reduction in background is planned to 10-3 counts kev kilogram year using cleaner materials. This will increase the half-life sensitivity to 1,026 years once 100 kg year of data is taken and enable evaluation of possible ton-scale expansion. Topic results Phase 1 collected data November 2011 to May 2013, with 21.6 kg year exposure, obtaining a 0 NBB 90% CL half-life limit of T0 new beta beta greater than 2.11025 YR display style T underscore 0 new beta beta greater than 2.1 CDOT 10 carat 25 year. This limit can be combined with previous results, increasing it to 3 1,025 years, disfavoring the Heidelberg-Moscow detection claim. A bound on the effective neutrino mass was also reported, M nu the double beta decay half-life was also measured, T2 NBB equals 1.84-1021 year. Phase 2 will have additional enriched GE detectors and reduced background, raising the sensitivity about one order of magnitude. Phase 2 seven strings, 35.8 kg of enriched detectors was started in December 2015. Preliminary results of Phase 2 have been published in Nature. The background index for Bege detectors is 0 0.7 10-3 counts kev kilogram year, which translates to less than one count in the signal region after an exposure of 100 kg year. The present limit on the half-life is T1 half equals 5.3 1,025 years, 90% CL. As of 2018, the Phase 2 data taking continues. <laughs>